Hey Cancer, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your May love and money reading. So we're going to start right away. Stick around to the very end. That's when I give you advice from Tarot. And um, in the meantime, if you'd like to reach out, just ask for prayers or state what you'd like prayers over. If you feel a little more extroverted today, I'm happy to send you my good energy and I encourage everybody else to do the same for each other. And uh, just know that that is sealed with good intentions, positivity and light, nothing dark, nothing negative can penetrate it. Okay. Starting with career for my cancers, only taking cards that volunteer. And if they fly out upside down, we read them that way. We have the energies of the Queen of Pentacles, not bad for um, a career slash money reading, and the Six of Cups. So... There's some kind of nostalgia attached to this. Um, there's a groundedness with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, your mind is on your money. Your money is on your mind. We need a little bit more um, from the cards to unpack it further. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of element um, from your past that is coming out into your career. That's because Six of Cups represents nostalgia, memories, people that you've known in the past, or even people from your youth. So somehow they're working, this is this element's working itself into your career money reading. Let's get a little bit more out on the out on the table and then let's unpack them a little bit. All right, so we have the three of pentacles upside down. One more, please. For cancer. Okay. So what it looks like unpacked is that. You might have some, let's say, familiar, everybody's situation is different. So I'm going to give you scenarios and examples, but um, the energy is the same. So this is basically somebody or a team. It could be a, a, a co-worker, uh, but something that's familiar with you, somebody that's familiar with you, it might not be giving you sufficient support, it might not be backing you up. Um, or holding up their end of the bargain. And um, so I feel that you're coming, you're, you're, you're trying to look at this from a practical, grounded place. And I think what's coming out is the fool. The fool is a brand new journey. The fool is something entirely new. Let's unpack that a little bit. What's this fool for my cancers and their career readings? Yeah, you are launching off because I think it's dawning on you guys that regardless of how great things are um, in your relationship or your work relationship or friendship with this entity, regardless of your past history, maybe there was a history of support or um, good partnership. Um, this could be a client, a fellow employee, this could be a co-worker, whatever it is, a fellow visionary, entrepreneur, whatever it is, despite any kind of past you might have had with them, you're realizing that the scenario at hand is not going to lend enough support for you to, to execute what you need to. And so what's coming up is The Fool, which is a brand new journey. Um, and there is something really exciting about the fool's energy, and it's coming up with a high priestess energy, which is also intuition, getting really tuned in. Um, let's, and then the bottom of the deck is the wand, which is really fun. I mean, it's just a spark. Um, let's get a little bit out from Three of Pentacles, and let's ask for advice afterwards. So Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So this could have had an impact on um, your relationship um, emotionally a little bit or it might have been kind of even stifling your creativity just the fact that it wasn't uh, it was kind of a lopsided team it was kind of a weak there were your weak link whether you like it or not you know and I think you're coming to an acceptance definitely of that but it's not that everything is bad there's almost an uh, there's an element of creativity that has sprung forth from this but the justice card is a beautiful card to get um in in uh, context, because when the justice card comes out, it's reminding you that one, you're on the right side of things like karmically. And if, it, if anything is contractual bound, if anything has to do with legalities, it's going to end in your favor, but things are just going to find their balance. So if this is in fact you, that I'm speaking to you, you relate to this, 
this, you're going to find your balance in this relationship and with your creativity. If you are going, if you're willing to be innovative and strike out on your own in a way. Okay. So, um, let's get some more advice from tarot career and money for my cancers. It's a funny card. What's going on? There we go. So two well used guys. Whoa, right away. We've got the hermit upside down. So it's coming out of a quiet place that to me right away is like, if you felt like you didn't want to make too quick of a move, or you didn't want to say something you'd regret later, and maybe you've been quiet, you've been stuck kind of in the dark with this situation, you're going to be coming out of that. Um, because your stability relies on it, lovers. The lovers in a career or money reading is talking about the choice, that aspect of the card. Seven of Swords. Oh, this is getting interesting. One moment, you guys. So this is like the story is, uh, the plot is thickening. <laughs> All right. And then we get, we cap it off for the fool. So it, Tara has a sense of humor, right? Because I can, I feel like, um, Sometimes it leaves no doubt at all. It'll be redundant. It'll send you the same cards over and over again. And it's almost like it's it's plotting the story. So I want to just do one more thing. Seven of Swords is a sense of deception. And it's coming up in your advice column. And I want to know why. So I'm asking Eight of Pentacles. Ah, so I feel like you could have been spinning your wheels. If you were going to ignore your intuition in this situation, you'd look back at this situation like with frustration that you put so much work into it and maybe there was a sense that knowing then what you knew like knowing now what you knew then or I'm trying to you know what I mean if you knew what was going on that it is in fact a lopsided team that in fact um they are for their own reasons they're not going to hold up their end of the bargain or they're not going to give you sufficient um support you'd be frustrated but luckily, you're listening to your intuition, you're seeing the writing on the wall, and you're getting the fool, which represents that new journey over and over and over again. So we're coming out of this quiet place, checking yourself, kind of feeling in the dark with it, something's off, but what is it? Four of Rods is talking about celebrations and, and gatherings um, and gratitude for the stability that you have, the celebration of stability. So it's it can it's an interesting card because it takes on a different light with whatever the reading is. For this, what this looks like to me is what's at stake is your stability. What's at stake is the grand picture. Um, and some of you guys, this could even be around work you're putting towards an event, work you're putting towards a gathering got to throw it out there but you're making a choice the lover's card is not romantic in this reading it's talking about the choice which is originally the name of this card because you sense that there's a deception around work this is seven of swords representing the deception and the eight of pentacles which is hard work that sense of spinning one's wheels so being able to look past that you find the strength to go on this journey the second fool that flew out to consider new approaches and consider your intuition uh, very seriously in all of this because you don't want to be working for nothing. What is this for, Rods? Two of Cups. Yeah, this is all about a good, healthy partnership. This is coming through. You need a Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> uh, for some of you guys, this person is an old partner or somebody you worked at with in the past. Maybe they're even related to you. Maybe they go way back in your school days or what have you, and they want to work together again. They've got some big, bright, creative ideas. They, you know, they can be inspiring to talk to. But again, there's, there's, despite this connection you have, there is this offer that's being made, Four of Cups. Um, and it seems like it holds so much potential because you guys could work together really well in other areas. But, and, and it seems that they are kind of coming back from the past, but this Wheel of Fortune also talks about a good turn of luck, you know, a good turn of fate. And um, <clears throat> it looks really great, like your intuition is on point and you're not going to put at risk um, a good work relationship or good friendship um, knowing what you feel intuitively, knowing that they could let you down, um, 
when you could actually strike out on your own and be innovative about this approach. Seems very clear. Only take it if it resonates. But um, I'm not worried about you for one second. Like you, you're on top of this and it's all the justice card. It's all going to be balanced out beautifully. You're coming from a very practical and yet kind of loving place with the Queen of Pentacles. It's a nurturing card. It's a nurturing yeah, and it felt like it, re it represented your energy. Now, there is a chance that whoever you're ta we're talking about in this reading besides you is an earth sign. All right, so let's get into our love reading. I'm going to give this, this deck another shuffle. Um, if this is resonating so far, I invite you to like the, like the video. It makes such a huge difference. I always need to be reminded myself because I get so caught up in my YouTube watching that I forget. Um, thank you so much. All right, so love. For our cancers let's take the temperature right now in may love for cancers we have ace of pentacles that is cool so that is an offering and in love that can even be a physical in the physical realm like a material uh, offering of you know a gift it can be a gesture because it also talks about value and self-worth so either way, it's very exciting. It's something, it's like something being presented to you. Let's find out a little bit more about that for our Cancers. Love for our Cancers in May. All right, Seven of Wands. Let's get some more. Okay. How they land is how we read them and they both land it upright. We have the Lover's card again. This is definitely something I want to unpack because I, there's a story in this as well. My fingers are kind of tingling. That's a good sign. So you're basically being presented with um, a token of someone's care for you, broadly speaking. Um, there's a sense of standing your ground and staying on the higher ground of something, maybe feeling challenged, fighting off doubts. But there's an attraction, there's this, the lover's card talks about this, of course, a choice, always, it's always choice related. Um, but this is the lover's card and definitely there's attraction in the air. This is talking about relationships, the duality of making the choice of moving forward. And then we have a very interesting energy, which is this blunt, fast moving, confident, sometimes overly confident energy of the Knight of Swords. This is the fastest moving, besides the Chariot card, this is the fastest moving energy in the deck. So, but this represents a person. Now they could be an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it could be that they're just embodying this energy. This could be you for some of you, you know, the roles switch, but the energy is the same. So it's really up to you what you identify with and only take it if it resonates. I'm going to unpack this Knight of Swords a little bit. What does this Knight of Swords want to say? Because they're coming forward, whether it's you or somebody else, they're coming forward in a hurry because they have something urgent to say. They need communication. They need it now. They want to, they want to, if this is a problem they're trying to attack, they want to do it right now. They might have bold ideas. They just, yeah. Okay. Here we've got two. You and the Fool card. Jeez, Cancer. So we've got King of Wands and we've got the Fool. So this sense of newness, um, this person knows what they want. <laughs> they need to make it known. We have the King of Wands that could be a separate person here. So that could be your energy or theirs swapped. But the Knight of Wands <clears throat> is a little bit more mature, but they still have that same fire. So there's, um, there's definitely um, these energies are similar in the sense that they both are very fiery currently. And um, the thing with the King of Wands is that they have a very strong sense of direction. They're kind of the entrepreneurs of the deck. They're visionaries. And so if this is, let's say, your energy, this is you definitely kind of standing your ground, maybe having your ideals and sticking with them because we've got our Seven of Wands being like, I know what I want. I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm going to find, you know? Um and there is the sense of the Knight of Swords wanting to prove something or communicate something, getting something across. And then we've got 
in conjunction to all these, uh, we've got the fool, which is that new start. So for those of you who are in a relationship already, this could be like, let's start over again. Let's do like, let's get over this. Let's, if it's an argument or if it's a, um, let's get on the same page of, on this. And, um, if it's a brand new relationship, it feels like this is somebody who wants you. They're choosing you. They're choosing you with a lover's card or you're choosing them. But there's this sense of what is the seven of wands? They, they want to hand you this ace of pentacles, you know, like, oh, we've got another ace. Communication is huge in May. I mean, like, <laughs> and then the magician. Yeah, so this is like manifesting something new, manifesting new, fresh communication. This is a conversation that maybe you guys haven't had, but it's been the elephant in the room where it needs to happen in order to move things forward in a healthy way. This all looks really exciting. It looks like you're going to have um, a big, some like your June and your July are going to look different because of this. This is um, a transformative communication. I would say. So advice for my cancers in love. What do my cancers need to know in love? What do my cancers need to know in love? Advice. Queen of Swords. Dang. You're getting real with those boundaries. So this is kind of taking into account, taking a pause and looking at how far you've come, what you've created. Um, in yourself and maybe in your relationships. Um, and where are your boundaries? Because that's, the tarot is saying, embrace the energy of the queen of swords. Look her up. Google that. You're getting all swords. There is a decision that needs to be made. For some of you guys, this is just going to be like the simple decision. It's not simple at all. Do we keep on going? Are, can we do this? Are we on the same page? What needs to change in order for this to work? It's very straightforward because the Queen of Swords, if you were to Google her, is um, she knows exactly what she wants. Of course, it doesn't represent the sex, uh, the gender of of the of the person I'm reading for. But the Queen of Swords doesn't mess around. Like very straightforward. Sometimes a little cutting with our words. So I encourage you to be conscientious of that. But yeah. Uh, and you don't have to be talked into having an open mind. You don't have to be, you don't have to be talked into keeping your mind open and doing something that is uncomfortable for you. And the reason I say that is because you're getting page of rods in reverse. So it's saying, you know, that moment where somebody's like, you know, but you haven't even tried this yet, or you did it, you know. If your gut and your intuition is saying, no, I know where I lie, I know what my standards are, or I know where my boundaries are, then listen to that and communicate that because you're getting a real opportunity to do that in May. Um, you don't have to be extra, quote unquote, adventurous. You, you know, four swords, 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 swords. Four swords is being, going inward, meditating, contemplating, Get these words ready for yourself. Dialogue before you have the actual dialogue. You know, if you need to call up a buddy or talk to a, a friend or a therapist about this and just dialogue it out to see how that feels, cool. You don't have to be convinced to do something or say something just because you're afraid it's going to be close-minded. Or too limited. Does that make any sense? Yeah. You got the power. Remember that song? That's your theme for May. <laughs> I love you guys. Say hi in the comments area if you'd like. I'm going to send you my warm energy, my love, and I'll talk to you soon.